Good afternoon, everyone. Right, where to start? So, so I've got to say unashamedly that this period of souls from the from the late fifties, early sixties, through to the beginning of the seventies, they have some of my absolute favourite kind of heavyweight souls, ninety cc's thereabouts, and then. Perhaps we talk about the super heavyweights later. Um, in fact, I'm going to bring out my 100cc pluses as well because that's that's a lot of fun. Although probably less practical for kind of everyday use. Some of these you really could just by changing the bar, you really could use them every day. They're just oh, they're sublime. So where should we start? Let's start in age, not necessarily beauty. They're all beautiful. So. Clinton. So this devil is original factory paint, has virtually never been cut with. I was so, so fortunate to buy her. So the D25 and the D35, the later ones, some of them were in the, um, some of them were made at the same cubic capacity and I'm very fortunate to get one as the D35. So 94 and a half cc, late 50s, 58-ish, 58-59 spectacular then we would have then we would have uh, okay some of you guys are going to love this this is a partner r11 i think i think the claim to fame for the part r11 was something like the first direct drive saw made in sweden maybe so 90 cc's 1959, just 58 or 59, it might be towards the tail end of 58, but 58, 59, an absolute brute of a saw. Very unusual throttle arrangement with little trigger arrangement, a throttle lock on the side, and a little valve to turn off the fuel. Has spectacular compression. Actually, let me show you what this girl sounds like. She's, um, Put the throttle lock in there. Beautiful arrangement for the for the choke. Little momentary kill switch. All the badges in place, and then choke off. Open the throttle uh, fuel valve. Usually then, so some of the documentation on some of the early, um, on some of the early partner saws is, well, as far as I can tell, it's slightly wrong. They often list these with a 404 chain, but so this one is fitted with a really beautiful, um, it looks like the chipper chain configuration, almost like the question mark shape, but that's a 7 16th pitch and just sublime and it's an original partner i think that's a nominal 22 inch bar might be 21 22 21 you can see the partner inset and stamped in the bar so it's a wheel nose bar not sprocket so it means you could change the clutch drum and certainly could run it down to a, a 404 pitch if you wanted i guess if you get a clutch drum you could put a much more readily available 3 8 pitch on her but got this gorgeous Gorgeous thumper of an engine, 90 cc's. <laughs> and just like some of the, like the, the Dormar, the CA, this beautiful outboard oiler arrangement. So, a thing of absolute beauty. Turn off the fuel valve. So, that's the the partner, Swedish, 90 cc's. Then, oh, Great Britain, actually this should have come first. So, 50, 1958, DD8F Mark II. Um, 
98 cc's thumper 50 mil piston 50 mil stroke really um, unsurpassed monster as well <laughs> Ferocious engines. Choke off. Fantastic. I love the sound of these engines and the build of them. So running a stubby, I think this is my 16 inch bar. I have um, I have up to a 30 inch bar for this particular model and again one I've never cut with so that's the, the DD8F late 50s spectacular. Then you'd have okay oh, West German Solo, so this is the 60135. I'm very fortunate to get this one back up and running again, only from the last few days. Shout out to Rich, really nice guy over in West Wales. Had a, a, a donor saw which has been stood a long time and mine had broken the pull start. And if any of you know the Solo on the 60135, the 601, the 42, so replacement for the Rexes, replacement for the, the Rex and the Super Rex and I think they quote these as being 8 horsepower SAE um, automotive engineer rating and 9 horsepower for the for the 106 which I have as well um, I don't think they make that but they are they're sublime professional saw, automatic oiler cast aluminium exhaust so she had a few a few things had let go over time and the fuel tanks are devil for pinching at the back and then putting a little cracking and leaking starter pulls the covers can go um etc etc so i'm very very fortunate that i've had uh, i think it was 70 pounds or something for the donor saw and now i was able to put back on those pieces and let me show you what this creature is like okay 92 cc, so I think from 66 or 67. Just make sure we're not forget anything. Choke at the side. <laughs> Absolutely sublime, just a monster from the 60s. So, I think on on paper can run. In fact, again, some documentation on this is wrong. So, I have um, I have for for the solos. I have a number of solos. Um, I have a lot of solos. So, I have a bar fitment for this up to up to 42. So, I guess I have from 18. I think this is a normal 21. I've got a 24, 28, 32, I've got a 34, a 35 inch bar, I've got two 42 inch bars, so a real tractable engine. So as to what they pull like running the bigger bar, 404, um, 404 pitch chain, and just a thing of beauty, outboard oil tank, fully adjustable oiler, composite fuel tank, manual oiler as well, so spectacular and then although she's a little bit newer the steel 051 and i was going to show her starting as well and i've ah, ah, 
And I've gone to start her, and again, I've broken another pull cord today, another um, spring. So, so any of you who know this, an amazing steel model, 89 cc's, so from 1972, but kind of just creeps into the 90 cc category just because they are, oh, they're just sublime as well. So I'll order a new spring for her and I'll put her back in when I do the bigger group as well. Okay. So, never cut with the Dan on, haven't cut with the partner, obviously never cut with my, well there's a few Clintons I've never cut with, they're just, the, the paint is just like they come out the factory, and so I have, I think I have six 60135s, and because of the ones that are currently arriving, so this girl's going to go up for sale, and... Let me show you what she cuts like. I think she was put away sharp. And so like I say, she's running an Oregon semi-chisel, excellent tooth life. Has both the felling spikes fitted, fully adjustable chain oiler, and has just had the replacement pots um, for the pull start housing. She unfortunately backfired. Oh. Whenever she last backfired, as she backfired, it was so aggressive, the aluminium starter um, starter cup, or the aluminium pull start, caught the spring and it snapped, it broke the actual aluminium pull start housing, such was the, the, the ferocity of the backfire. So, right. Very interesting. It's a real, it's a real mixture of sizes. So this is, uh, okay. For 90 plus, and we've just tried the lime wood on the little 40 cc. That cut just spectacular. So that cut so well. Oh, God. right. Let's see if this thing performs any different. Yeah. get powerful saws <laughs> like the little 023 punch way above their um, their weight spectacular and then you get oh, saws that are just effortless and just just like a hot knife through butter and they just cut they just cut fantastic oh. <laughs> they're so heavy wood so ah. guys hope that's interesting so that's the, just an overview of some of my 90s, 90s classics really. Actually, let's just do a, a volume test, fresh again. So, oh, since I've been breaking the springs on some, I'm reluctant to start them in the hand, because I keep working my hands. <laughs> Um, in engine note. 
So, big piston, 54 mil piston, running um, a 40 mil stroke. So, spectacular. Undoubtedly, the king of noise is the Danon. These girls just know how to make an entrance. Say to me, why do you collect so many Danons? They are just, I don't know, it's just unwatered down power, and they're just, they're just, I just love, I just love the almost like the, the unrefined ignorance of this engine. Spectacular again, 50 mil piston, 50 mil stroke. So, tiny bit smaller piston than the, than the solo, longer stroke, but really aggressive running. And then the beautiful partner, gorgeous engine, really intriguing throttle lock with this little thumb lever. So you do the fuel and little choke lever down the side and choke off. I'd be hard pushed to to choose any favourites out of all of them, in fact, which I guess is one of the reasons why people, when they collect things, anything that they love, you end up getting so many of them because you just can't choose. Guys, thanks for watching. Any questions on my spectacular um, 60135? Please just ask. All complete all the way round. Oh, that's right. One other thing I have to buy for her. And you see this a lot with this uh, with this series of saw as well. Is there an unusual oil filler cap in so far that they have a, you know, a hex head, so they need a socket. And because nobody tends to have a 21 mil socket, you see that pipe wrenches go in, water pliers go in. They use a screwdriver and then end up chiseling the sides off so I picked up a nearly brand new one for this one as well just to just to make her perfect and she has all original West German solo screws all the way around as far as I know and yep is an absolute thing of beauty solid nose bar Oregon semi chisel Oregon chain great teeth life evidently sharp could possibly be sharpened even more but would you really need to Thanks for watching guys. Next video, I better bring out the I gotta bring out the plus 100 cc class. Okay, bye for now.